Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to get 30 FPS more, sometimes even 60 FPS depending on your GPU. But before we start, can you guys please remember to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on, I would really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are not in stress. So like you guys can see, I'm on 920 by 1080. Um, but before we go and do the changes, let me go into game and I'm going to show you what my FPS is right now. And then after the tips and tricks, I'll show you my FPS afterwards. Okay, now that I'm on a blank island, you guys can see when I look up to the sky, I get like 340 FPS to 350 around about. So this is before the changes, remember, and as soon as I start loading, it drops to like 260 FPS or 240, constant at least. And remember, this is in blank island, so it's not in pubs or something. With that out of the way, let's go do the changes. Okay, unfortunately you have to put your stretches off, uh, but if you want to do that, you want to type in run. You want to search here percentage app data percentage. So you want to go to app data, double call, search for Fortnite game, saved, configs, Windows client, and then you want to make sure this one is unticked. So what you want to do is you want to go in, and then you want to say replace all. So I used to play on 750 by 1080. All I want to do is type in the treasures in there and replace it with 1920 uh, for the Y at least. And then the X here, I want to type in your treasures and with 1080. So you want to make sure this is a native phrase. We have to press Control S and then or you can go here and then you say save. But remember to save it, close it, and then you want and then you do not want to retick this. Make sure this one is still unticked. So after you do that, you want to go right click on your desktop, show more options, NVIDIA control panel, go to advanced image settings and make sure the middle one is ticked. Then you go to take me there, then you want to go to image gain. So this is NVIDIA's new image gaining uh, setting, you don't even need the RTX card. In my case I do have RTX card so I can put in the LSS, but for most of you that doesn't have an RTX card, maybe have like a GTX 1650 or 1050 or whatever. You can just put it in on here. So you want to go to your image scaling and you want to take this on. So I mostly recommend a percentage per between 10 and 20%. I always put overlay indicator on just to see if it's working or not. So you want to do is you type in and you say okay. So after that you want to say apply so your free screen will flicker on and off. It's completely normal, your PC is not breaking, it's just how the drivers work. Like I said, it's going to flicker like a few times, it's a lot. It's just how it is. So if you go here to your set advanced desktop size and position, you can see all these settings are grey out. That's completely normal. You just want to make sure this is on your highest uh, refresh rate. With that out of the way, let's go into Fortnite and see the FPS difference. So uh, now that I'm in Fortnite, what you want to do is you want to go here and go to settings. And then you want to put this into the one before 920 by 1080. Now I know this is a lower res, but with this image scanning, it's going to put your game in the lower res and basically it's gonna look like 1920 by 1080 um, which you basically doesn't do not lose any FPS so you want to say is you apply so how you know it's working if it says on the left corner of your monitor you can't see it on the recording but then on the left side of my monitor it's show NIS which is NVIDIA image scaling that's how you know it's work if it shows green if it shows red it probably doesn't work for you unfortunately but with that out of the way let's do a test of before and after Okay, as you guys can see since I loaded in, if I look up to the sky, I mostly get like 350, 360 FPS. Sometimes it goes to like 380 mostly. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit of improvement. But the thing is, it's not the more FPS you get, it's more consistent now. Like my FPS usually drop like to like 220 and stuff when I start burning. But like right now, it's like 260 FPS constant. Obviously, it's gotta drop to like 240 sometimes and what have you. But like I said, I can't see any visual difference in my game at least. And my FPS is definitely more stable in game rather than just in creative. But like you guys can see, it gives me like 20 to 30 FPS more. Uh, like I said, it depends on your PC. In my case, it gave me more FPS. But it's not going to give more FPS to everyone. Um, but it will definitely give more FPS to like low-end PCs. Since I have an RTX card and a more bottleneck on CPU, it's not going to give me more FPS. Uh, or much more FPS but I know it's gonna give you more FPS if you're not like a lower end PC thank you guys for watching this video please remember to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on I really appreciate it 
Hopefully this actually helps for some of you. Like I said, depending on your PC, you might get a little bit more FPS, or maybe you would get like 10 to 30 FPS. But with that out of the way, enjoy the rest of the guys' day.